Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica of Body Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is our weekly astro tarot and intuitive forecast for the week of October 21st, 2019. If you hear any noise in the background, honestly, it's the biggest blessing because we have a storm, a beautiful storm rolling through. It's so interesting because last night around 4 a.m. I woke up and I had this dream that I was spending time with my family. This tornado developed out of nowhere. I was the first one to see it and I was the first one to spring to action and then I was helping to guide my family and my friend to a space that was going to protect them and I was covering up them up with blankets. Despite my environment being so chaotic, me, I was clear, I was focused. I was a little scared but it was more me being called to act, me being called to respond, and it's really important. I'm gonna do a whole video on dreams, prophetic dreams, and what they mean. And if you guys would like to see a video on that, meaning like how to interpret your dreams and how I interpret my dreams and what they mean and also how to call in prophetic dreams, just go ahead and give this video a thumbs up or let me know down in the comments and I will jump on it for you, but only if you want it, of course. But this morning I woke up and I checked my Twitter well, I tweeted about it because I could see that there was a lot going on with Neptune. I pulled the chart like first thing this morning. I could see that there was a lot going on with Neptune and Mercury. Mercury preparing to go retrograde. We'll talk about that in this video just a little bit because I have a full video coming on that. And I also have videos about Mercury retrograde that I'll link down below in my description box on how to work with Mercury retrograde. But yeah, I, I checked Twitter and I saw that there was a tornado that had hit Dallas and it literally looked exactly like the tornado that I saw in my vision in my dream and those storms are coming through in New Orleans so I lit a few candles of protection for us in this city um, earlier this morning because I just had this feeling but again maybe this me sharing that dream that I had with you is more a metaphor for you within your life maybe it's not an actual storm that it is that you're experiencing like in the physical that you can see maybe it's an internal storm but it's all about your ability to stay focused and clear despite anything chaotic despite what it looks like despite what it sounds like despite the messages and how you are are, are interpreting the things that it is that you're seeing your perception of it and that's something that I want to talk about for us this week is our perception of things. I, as I'm looking at the cards and as I'm looking at the chart, there is a lot of back and forth. What I'm seeing and what I'm feeling as I'm looking at the chart is someone who's almost doing like a tango or something where it's like a few steps and then a little bit steps here and then a few steps here. It's this back and forth. Now, it kind of makes sense because Mercury is about to, pre is preparing to go retrograde and I believe he's going to go retrograde on October 31st of this year, so right on Halloween day. And when a planet is preparing to get retro, go retrograde, the, he definitely has lost a lot of his momentum. He's left, definitely lost a lot of his juice, a lot of his energy, and he's preparing to store it up. He's preparing to switch it up. So in that meantime, there's not a whole lot going on because he realizes that he's going to take a few steps back. And that's what Mercury retrograde is going to do. One thing that I've noticed about the internet, I think we at this point we've all noticed is that people love to demonize Mercury retrograde. They like to panic, but Mercury retrograde or Mercury direct is not necessarily a negative or a bad thing. If you know how to work with the planets and you can make them work for you, not against you, you guys know that that's like the motto of Bahati Life for the most part. So yeah, that's I think that's why I'm seeing this kind of dance dancing going on. And this dancing is not light. It really is not light. The energy of it, the passion behind it is not light. It's actually very intense because there's an intense chemistry. There's an intense attraction that is happening between you and one thing. But for the sake of boundaries, for the sake of us um, having armor, personal armor, or the other thing having armor, there is a timing and a sequence of events that needs to happen in order for you know, a partnership to, to really happen and to occur. I feel like it was last week that I was seeing partnership, or maybe it was a, a reading, a personal reading that I did for someone, one of my clients. I, I honestly, I can't remember. I almost feel like I'm saying this, I don't wanna say deja vu, but I feel like I've said this before. Like, I feel like I'm repeating myself. But there's these two separate things that are happening, and this is literally happening right here, right now. This is something that you have not 
you know it's not on the horizon it's not something that you're setting intention for and if you have set intention for it you're seeing the actual results of it you're seeing it now this is not wish fulfillment this is not you know self-fulfilling prophecy or anything like that this is something that you have already seen it's like solid it's here it's present and with that whatever that thing is and it's different for everyone because we all have different charts and the way that the planets are moving they impact us in different ways it because we're so unique but it it depends on where that area is um at in your life but you know exactly what it is that i'm talking about but there's this like dance here dance back dance here dance back what i want to say is that this week i see movement with this this specific thing the specific area of your life let's say for some of you guys you actually are considering a move you are doing this for your highest and greatest good you are actively doing it you are actively doing your research you are actively maybe reaching out to different apartments or you're making a note of exactly what it is that you want and you're starting to see more confirmation more evidence of okay i don't need to be here i should be moving over there but because of these boundaries because of these walls that are very stubborn and it's not those walls aren't there to block you or barricade you from coming into this new area of your life they are there because there needs to be a time a time like a progression to things that everything has to be respected as i'm saying that i'm remembering that i pulled the temperance card the temperance card is never about rushing it's all about harmony but in the sense of i am working the alchemy it's really alchemy it's i'm working these factors i'm working out these conditions that's the a really good word to describe it i'm working with these conditions to create a new condition to create a new thing to create a new life for many of you guys, I'm actually seeing a partnership. I'm seeing some real significant changes when it comes to relationships. Part of this is because the sun is has been moving to the sign of Libra. At the start of the sun moving in the sign of Libra, you might have seen some changes when it comes to your love life and some interesting prospects coming up on the horizon for you. But as the sun is exiting or about to exit out of the sign of Libra, you might have seen or you will be seeing because again this is something that you're seeing right now this is not again wish fulfillment what you're setting intention for for the future and you have not seen any signs this is right here right now let's say for some of you guys this is actually health because there's and why and why this reading is so quote unquote general is because it's for a general audience and there's 12 houses within the entire uh, within a, a natal chart, within an astrology chart, those 12 houses represent the major 12 areas of your life. And literally, it covers everything. It covers all the bases. There's not one aspect of our lives and our experiences here on Earth that is not covered by one of these 12 houses. So how it, how this energy will manifest for you is different. But I'm also feeling a really strong calling to talk about health, physical health your vibrancy, your energy levels. This is again something that you can experience and that you can confirm to me right now in the comments and be like, Jess, I know exactly what you're talking about. It's my energy levels. I know exactly what you're talking about. It's my health plan. It's the fact that I booked my personal trainer. I already showed up to those appointments. I'm on um, my second appointment or maybe you guys are thinking about mental health the 12th house or maybe sixth house energy and you're really starting to take care of your day-to-day -day life you're asking for help you started going to those appointments you're journaling maybe it's a relationship it could literally be anything it could be career it could be friends there's something that is here now tangible solid that you can put your hands on that you can say that it does feel like this little dance back and forth you know are we moving forward are we going back um, we're taking these steps, but it, I am also having these like pitfalls. I have to maybe something has to be rearranged or It's this dance and You are feeling this there's a strong connection because this is the energy of Scorpio But I'm also feeling this within the cards I'm feeling so much of passion commitment devotion and it's I don't want to say a desirable thing or a desired a desirable but it's a desired outcome that you want for that thing and it can be frustrating because you see the end result you see how good this is going to be these changes that you are implementing within your life that you are creating within your life that's why you're putting so much intention and attention into creating the right formula to make this move forward but 
when I look at the um, Emperor card here and the Ten of Swords, and also the Empress card here, and so let me just show you all these cards that I pulled. The Hermit, the King of Pentacles, the Star card, the World card, and the Temperance. All of these cards are really, are here. They have, they each hold a major punch. But I'm feeling as though, um, I'm feeling as though, the word that's coming through is like boundaries. It feels, not that you need healthier boundaries or anything like that, maybe you do, but it's like there's a, a time and a place for everything and there's a way that things have to occur and that's why there's this little dance going back and forth and i don't want anybody to get um disillusioned by this and i'm saying the word disillusioned because it's your perception of it that will make you feel like i really want solid i really want strength i want to have stability i want to have an answer i want to have a solution i want to receive abundance i want to build i want to have security i want to have a foundation that i can fall back on and that i can it's going to support me as i move forward into my into my future i want to travel i want to explore i want to understand i want to seek i want to know i have faith there's all of these things that are connected here and if your perception is off, if you're focusing too much on the dark and not on where you're being called to go, you are going to get into a space where you're going to feel defeated. You're going to feel like your energy is zapped. You're going to feel like this isn't moving. The word that is coming through is, um, it's, what is it? It's like, it's like cir like a circle, like circular. Um, but as I'm saying in that, and as I hear that word, I'm actually getting, um, the infinity sign kind of knocked over on the side, which makes a lot of sense because number eight is this, the card. If you guys see me staring off, it's because I'm trying to, um, see what it is that I'm seeing, if that makes any sense. But that makes a lot of sense because, um, the number eight is the card of infinity and connection. Everything that is being transformed comes around in some other light comes around in some other form literally that's what's happening here with the temperance card i just dropped a card what is it probably the emperor but and that's another thing too is that well okay let me take a step back because i'm rushing ahead of myself but with the number eight it's about completion it's about you know transformation death and when we have this with the sun moving into the sign of uh the sign of Scorpio, which is going to be happening on the 23rd, this is truly about transformation. It's internal transformation, but it's transformation that's happening around you, but a lot of it's internal. Anything that was once released is coming again into another form, and it's being co-created. It's being created, and that's why there's a time and a place and boundaries and protection that are implemented so that you are not going ahead of yourself so that what it is that you are seeing the signs of things coming to life, even though we're in a space right now of death, meaning like the cycle that we're in currently within, as we're moving into Scorpio season, is that of death and transformation and release and personal growth and personal healing and completing those cycles. That's emphasized even more when we have the world card. So as that's happening, you can't rush forward and jump ahead you have to take it step by step, day by day. And by doing that, by staying in this present moment, and that's something that I'm seeing as I'm looking at the cards right now, is there's such an emphasis on the present. It is here, it is solid, it is now. Focus on what you have here. And I'm really seeing that some of you guys are really being called right now. I wanna say 15, 20% of you guys, strongly, this message is for you. You have to make a decision because this is a part of the end of the cycle. You cannot stay in this space of, okay, do I transform, like transform and move forward or do I stay in the past? No, you have to make a decision. And this is about your strength, your power, you being the emperor and the empress, both aspects of yourself coming together. This isn't about you, you know, straddling, straddling the fence and not knowing, okay, do I go on this side? Do I go on that side? It's time for you to jump off and decide, okay, with, with power, with personal power, this is where I'm going. And I want you guys to set intention that wherever it is that you decide to go, I want you to do it from a space of your heart. I want you to focus on your joy. I want you to make a decision based upon when you, when you put your effort 
and your time and your energy into building this, it is going to give back to you, Empress, in a way that allows you to enjoy your life. For some of you guys, this might not be something that you're seeing right now or that you're totally manifested it. You know what I mean? With, with the financial milestone that you want to uh, achieve or maybe the relationship goal that you want to receive or the health goal that you want to receive or that you want to see like, the tangible evidence of it because again, it's all about this is what's being created here. But you have to decide. You deciding, it, it almost closes, I don't want to say closes the cycle, but it bridges the gap. And it opens the door and the, the thing that you choose to decide let it be something that gives you enjoyment it gives you pleasure it fills you up it nourishes you it's like a garden where you are actually going to see that you're reaping what it is that you sow meaning that let's say for some of you guys this is about your work your career what we don't want and what the universe doesn't want and what our guides and are telling you right now is that we do not want you to just solely survive. We want you to, I don't know why my camera just clicked off, but as soon as it did, I saw 333 and I saw 99999. So for some of you guys, you needed to see that. I literally was not at a point in my camera journey where it should have cut off. But anyways, so um, for some of you guys, you need to reap the benefit. It's like harvest. We are in a season right now of actual harvest and we are pickling, we are um, sorting things out, organize, not even organizing them because we've already done that. Now it's like, okay, let's eat, let's prepare, let's get together, let's celebrate the fruits of the slave of our labor, and let's start to prepare for the more quieter times. Let's start to prepare for, you know, rest and you know, feeling secure, feeling safe, feeling cozy. That's the season that is that we're walking into as we're moving into Scorpio season, which is happening on the 23rd. The 21st we have Venus ruling our abundance, ruling our beauty, luxury, the things that is that we love, combining with Neptune, the planet of dreams, illusion, fantasy, um, spirituality, taking our experience to the next level. And when we see this, this is such a strong day, again, of, okay, if you want to pull dreams in, if you want to manifest, if you want to take your experience to the next level when it comes to just survival into just is this is this my life like this is a dream that's the decisions that you need to make you don't need to be limiting yourself and getting frustrated with yourself and getting frustrated with your current uh, situations and circumstances when and the word is coming through to me again it's like a circle a uh, circle circ oh fuck i am the worst with words sometimes like Especially if it's not a word that I use in my regular and it's the word that spirit talks to me to teach, to tell me to tell you guys. It's like circ, circ, circuitous, circuitous. It's the, it, what it is, is I'm going to Google it later, but, or do research on it. Like, why is this the word? But it's how everything is so connected in this cycle, in this circle. And as I'm seeing this circle, these events, like you, even your frustration, even your disappointment, even your like, what? It takes that and it, it almost feels like you're back to square one, but you're not. It's a part of the dance. That's why your perception has to shift and change. And then what is I'm seeing is this circle turns just a little bit into an infinity sign and it shows you how infinite everything is. So that's abundance, that's reaping what you sow, that's putting all of that energy out there is something that's also going to come back to you. But I'm also seeing that there's a healthy respect to it. And I, I just feel like the universe right now is calling us to, even in the darkness, This the star card is not all about seeing the light all the time. It's about seeing a spark, a, having a gleam of hope, a glimmer of hope, and just locking in on that and not paying attention to all of the darkness. If you look at a sky, right? If you look at the night sky, it is predominantly darkness but it's our it's the stars that catches our eyes and each one of us are drawn to different stars sometimes because that's where we're, our, our destination is that's where our journey is leading us to but it's our perception that decides okay I'm gonna focus on the star I'm not gonna focus on the darkness because there's plenty of darkness here so that's what I'm seeing is we're changing our mind to focus on the journey we're focusing on where we're called to go the world card I love the storm right now, I just love it. The world card is surrounded by these angels, these archangels. 
and they are each calling you to step forward into the next journey, the next step within your destiny. And in a lot of ways, there's a lot of faith that needs to come from that. But I really want you guys to see that for some of you guys, again, you have to decide. I want to actually enjoy my life. And this back and forth, this like motion, especially with the temperance card, it's not something that I need to take personally. It's something that is a part of this circum, I don't know why circumference or cir circul, circul, I don't know, dude. I don't know what this word is, but that's what's coming through. Um, yeah, so that's what it is that I'm seeing for this week. Um, intuitively, the cards that I've shown you guys, the cards that it is that I'm pulling, I really want you guys to be strong for yourself especially with the emperor card here it doesn't matter if you identify as a predominantly feminine energy or predominantly masculine energy the emperor the emperor card is listen we really want you to be strong and solid and it doesn't matter if you're fearful inside you have a a a, a purpose you have a responsibility to yourself also as i'm saying that i also feel like some of you guys it's almost like you're being called to protect another person and do what's in their best, best interest, but the decision that you have to make, I don't know why this is coming through because as I'm saying this, like as your friend, not as your reader, but as your friend, I'm like, that's not what I would tell my friend. So this is not just as your friend, this is just as your reader. But some of you guys are being called to make a decision that is not going to feel good to you but you know deep within your spirit and your soul that the decision that you're gonna make involves another person is for their highest and greatest good, but they just can't do it themselves. But you have to you have to decide. Like you have to decide for both of you. Maybe it could be a relationship, a partnership, where you just say, look, there's no option for this. Like this is something that, you know, again, don't take it personally, but I just know like maybe we shouldn't be working together maybe you shouldn't have a, a, a spot at the table don't take it personally but I just know that this is for your highest and greatest good you you just I don't know it's gonna be different for everyone but I'm really seeing you guys being um, a leader in that way where you have to do what's right for another person and somehow the decision falls in your lap I really just felt that intuitively and that's why I'm looking, when I look at the Emperor card, which just jumped out of my hands and he's on the ground right now, but that's fine because he provides um, solid foundation anyways, so I don't mind him being on the ground right now, supporting us as I'm, and supporting me as I deliver this message over to you guys. But I just feel like some of you guys, um, there's people, or you maybe potentially have been looking for approval from other people, or if there's someone else who's solely trying to get gain appro approval from you and you have to decide listen you know what I'm not going to be in a space where I'm just going to solely survive and I don't want you to be in a space where you're going to solely survive this is what we're going to decide to do and with that I call the shots with that we're going to enter into a space of abundance and prosperity with that the cycle is ending it's completed and this is for the sake of out of love out of okay we want better for ourselves we don't want to limit ourselves. We don't want to be stuck in, if, this, if the cycle is going to be a circle, if the cycle is going to be like this, this circum, uh, circum, I don't know what it is with this S word. I'm going to find it out and I'm going to put it down in the comments. So make sure that you check my comments. I'm going to pin it for you guys. I promise. But whatever this is, if this cycle is here, then we want to make sure that it's something that is thriving and beautiful and giving you pleasure and joy and not something that is diminishing your energy and zapping your energy. Right? That's why it really falls on your lap. Oh my God, you guys, I forgot that I pulled other cards here. Let's see what we have here. Okay, we have the humpback whale. Music is essential to your healing and well-being, whether singing, playing an instrument, or listening. I, even as I'm looking at this, when I think of the humpback whale, I think of sonar, and I'm also thinking of family units, like doing things as a group, as a collective. So I think that for some of you guys, you're hearing and being called to something that other people can't hear, other people can't sense, and you're doing this decision, you're making this decision based upon what is for the highest, and that's it falls on your lap for some reason, because if anybody else, if it was dependent on anybody else, they would just do like base level root chakra stuff 
and I'm seeing like we are you just know whether it's from this message that you're receiving now or whether it's some confirmation of something that you've already been experiencing within your dreams or whatever but I feel like you just know like okay we're not gonna be in this space of just surviving anymore meanwhile okay I have these cards trust when love is invited to take over, right actions arise at the right time. Allow me, dear divine, to wait patiently until the timing is right. Let me rest in the unknown until a clear path is shown. And I am seeing relationship, enjoyment. Wow, see, enjoyment. Striving and pushing makes life into endless hard work. The more you're inviting love to take over, the more enjoyment comes. Allow me to enjoy this life, dear Lord. In relationship, I call on the infinite power of love to take over this union in every way. May it now fully belong to the divine. Let it unfold in the perfect way for each of us. I don't need to fear letting go of control. My needs are always abundantly met and then health. So that makes a lot of sense too that these things were coming through because it's my first time seeing them. And I'm seeing this could be the one calling in your soulmate and playfulness. So these cards are very intense. Like, like I was saying, they are bringing in really intense energy but i feel like it's because it's chemistry it's purpose it's calling it's destiny that's why it's intense but it's not intense i don't want you guys to equate intensity with anger and frustration and disappointment i want you to see that these intense feelings are there to show you how strong this purpose is but i'm still seeing this like dance effect and being respectful of what is happening here Especially as we're pre preparing for the Scorpio new moon, which is going to be happening on the 28th, which is going to plant the seeds even further for sensuality, for intimacy, for connection, and also personal power. You not being in a position where you're manipulating anyone and you're not being manipulated by anyone. It's about internal transformation, planting the seed for that, making something solid, tangible, right here, right now, and enjoying it. You have two cards here talking about um, enjoyment and playfulness that means that life is not meant to be wait a minute yeah life is not meant to be all heavy all the time even in the heavier moments we can somehow find a way to laugh okay so that's what I'm seeing for us for this week um, again let me know how you guys are feeling let me know if you guys want to see a video on how to work with dreams and how to pull in dreams do dream interpretation what do your dreams mean prophetic dreams let me know down in the comments for that let me know what dreams you're receiving because with the with mercury going retrograde and that's the other thing too decisions that you're making now I don't want you guys to delay on making the decision even as mercury retrograde is preparing itself to come together I want you guys to actually use this time and this space especially with the Sun moving through the sign going to be moving to the sign of scorpio there's a lot of energy while mercury is still there's a lot of energy that's going to show things to you in your subconscious and i want you guys to see it that's another thing that people aren't talking about when it comes to astrology tarot you know working with astrology or tarot because they just focus on these separate parts but you have to put the full picture together and as i'm looking at mercury going retrograde it doesn't mean just one singular thing because we have to look at the rest of the planets. What are the rest of the planets looking like? Like the sun is literally moving out of um, Libra, which has been creating a lot of energy, a lot of like back and forth. So when the sun moves into the sign of Scorpio on the 23rd, and then Mercury is steps, trying to be still and will be still until the thir 31st when then he flips and he goes back into, you know, takes a few steps um, backwards. That's where we're going to see a perfect time for you to um, focus on the subconscious, focus on your intuition. The waters are going to start to to settle. The mind is going to start to get a little wonky, but you just have to know how to work with it so that you can see it, so that you can interpret the signs and the signals and work them for your for your greatest good. That's what I'm seeing within this chart, and I don't feel like people are talking about it, but I am, because you guys know I don't, you know I don't take shortcuts and I don't. You know I put everything together like that's that's as a Virgo we're just so thorough <laughs> honestly 
Um, and then of course I will have the Scorpio New Moon video coming for you guys shortly. So make sure that you are subscribed to the YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. Make sure that you're turning on your notifications because YouTube does not notify people just because you're subscribed. You do have to turn on the notification bell and then if you also need to and if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram at Bahati Life because I post most of all my videos there and I notify you guys and let you guys know there's a new video there that you can decide that you need it or you don't need it, okay? So I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. The Oracle and Tarot cards that I use for this reading will be linked down in the description box and pinned in the comments. Hey guys, it's me again, Jess from Bahati Life. Really quickly, I just wanted to invite you to follow me on my Instagram, at Bahati Life, or you can check out my personal Instagram, Jessica X Alexandria. For those of you guys that were concerned about browsing the apothecary, creating a custom oil, even booking a reading with me, you can do that at BahadiLife.com. So I'll link all of those details down in the description box for you to make it easy. In the meantime though, I really do want to invite you to subscribe and to turn on notifications to the YouTube channel, our YouTube channel, so that you can be a part of my Bahati Five Tribe because I post weekly astrology and intuitive messages all the time. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!